But let me just inform you that the swearing in of Martin Amidu um, will begin shortly at Flax Staff House. That is where um, he's been going to be sworn in as a special prosecutor. But before we take you there, okay, so let's go there now and join my colleague um, Elton John Bobby. As you can see, the, the, the vice president is in your shot now. Let's try and uh, join that action. Oath, the official oath, and the oath of secrecy. You must have two oaths in your phone. They are not new to you. So, you insert your name appropriately and, f and say after me. I. I, Martin, allow Mr. Ben Skyzer, I'm you do. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will at all times. That I will at all times. Well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana. Well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana. In the office of special prosecutor. In the office of special prosecutor. And that I will uphold. And that I will uphold. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And defend the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. As by law established. As by law established. So help me God. So help me God. The second is the oath of secrecy. I... I, Martin Alamisi Ben Skyzer, am you do? Holding the office of special prosecutor. Holding the office of special prosecutor. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will not directly or indirectly. That I will not directly or indirectly. Communicate or reveal to any person. Communicate or reveal to any person. Any matter. Any matter. Which shall be brought brought consideration or shall come to my knowledge or shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my official duties in the discharge of my official duties as except as may be required except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties for the discharge of my official duties or as may be specially permitted by law or as may be especially permitted by law so help me god so help me god the president will now present the instrument of office. Thank you very much. Special Prosecutor, please kindly sign the oath books for us. I now invite the president to make his remarks, Mr. President. Mr. Vice President, Chief of Staff, 
Attorney General, officials of the Presidency, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen, let me first welcome you all warmly to the seat of our nation's Presidency. On the second day of this year, I assented to the enactment of the Office of Special Prosecutor Act, 217, Act 959. Pursuant thereto, the Attorney General, in compliance with the provisions of Section 13, Clause 3 of the Act, wrote to me on 11th January 2018 to nominate Mr. Martin Alan for appointment. I readily accepted the Attorney General's nomination and on the same day announced his nomination to the country. And subsequently, on 11th January 2018, I sought the approval of Parliament for the appointment. After a spirited and revealing vetting of the nominee, Parliament on 23rd February, on 20th February 2018, notified me by letter under the hand of the Speaker, the Right Honourable Michael Aaron Okwey, of his decision to approve by consensus the nomination of Mr. Amidou for appointment as Special Prosecutor. By the swearing-in of Mr. Amidou this afternoon, the process of appointment of the Special Prosecutor set forth in Section 13 of the Act has been completed. The enactment of Act 959 and the successful appointment of a spe Special Prosecutor are historic events in our modern history. The Ghanaian people have in overwhelming numbers denounced the canker of corruption <clears throat> that has in recent years engulfed the public life of our nation to the detriment of our progress. The response of the new patriotic party to this strong popular sentiment was to pledge into alia in its manifesto for the 2016 general elections, the establishment of the Office of Special Prosecutor, an independent, nonpartisan body with the relevant professional capability to lead the fight against corruption and hold public officials, past and present, accountable for their stewardship of public finances. The Ghanaian people expect the office of the special prosecutor to rise to the challenge and to the occasion and collaborate with other existing law enforcement agencies to fight relentlessly in our public life. We expect the special prosecutor to discharge his duties vigorously with courage without fear or favor, ill will or malice, in accordance with the rule of law. The establishment of this office is for a high purpose and must not under any circumstances be used as an avenue for persecution or vengeance. The office will be required to do justice to all manner of persons. In his book, practice and proceed in the trial courts and tribunals of Ghana, 2011, the second edition, the respective Ruby JSC reiterated the overriding duty of a prosecutor in the following words, and I quote, always the principle holds that the prosecutor is concerned with justice first, justice second, and conviction a very bad third." Unquote. The overwhelming popular acceptance by the good people of Ghana and the strong consensus approval by Parliament 
of Mr. Amadou's nomination justify the confidence I repose in him. Indeed, his eloquence and grasp of issues displayed to the public during his recent vetting is further testimony of the soundness of his appointment. I want to assure him that not only will the executive, including the Attorney General, respect scrupulously the independence of his office, but will also provide him with whatever assistance is required to enable him to discharge his high duties effectively in the interest of the Ghanaian people. The recent publication of Ghana's score in the 2017 Corruption Perception Index, organized by Transparency International, showing a further drop in our standing, a result largely based on, quote, the plethora of corruption allegations, exposés before the onset of this administration, indicates the enormity of the task ahead. It is noteworthy, though, that its local chapter, Ghana Integrity Initiative, in commenting on the report, has acknowledged that, and I quote, digitization is changing the ways we communicate and how we do business, and as a result, in Ghana, unquote. A special prosecutor cannot do it all by himself. He requires of all the institutions of our state public if he is to be successful in the fight against corruption. I've known Martin Amidou for several years. Indeed, I was his opposing counsel in many of the landmark constitutional cases in the early years of the Fourth Republic in the 1990s and can personally testify to the, the tenacity with which he holds on to his views. That tenacity is now to be exercised in favor of the Ghanaian people in his new office. I congratulate him fully on his deserved appointment and wish him God's guidance in the effort he will undoubtedly be making to try to instill integrity and accountability in the governance of our country. The ultimate beneficiaries of his actions, indeed of the actions of all of us in public service, will be the Ghanaian people. Thank you, and may God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make her great and strong. Thank you very much, Mr. President. May I now invite our special prosecutor, make his remarks. Mr. Amidou, please. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Your Excellency, the Vice President, the Honorable Chief of Staff, Honorable Attorney General and other Ministers of State and Presidential Staffers here present, gentlemen and members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank Mr. President for the kind words he said about me. I also wish first and foremost to thank Your Excellency, Mr. President, for the very fact of considering me as a fit and proper person for this position, even though I come from the opposite point of social democracy. And in the past, we have been very strong and robust professional adversaries in the development of the constitutional law of our dear country from its inception, as you've just said. Your ex confirm my acceptance to be special prosecutor and my acceptance of the offer demonstrates a fundamental democratic principle and belief to your credit that few people have adhered to for the past 25 years. Namely, 
a mass collaborate for national development by putting Ghana first. I would not have accepted to come to this job if I did not trust your excellency's integrity and honor of association from opposite sides of the bar. I've also given Mr. President my word of honor that I will discharge the duties of the Bedism office you have entrusted to my care with similar integrity and honor with your support and assistance. Mr. President, I wish to assure you that the propaganda about witch hunting will not doubt me from prosecuting all corruption crimes without reference to political considerations. As you had yourself admonished, once a suspected offender is established by investigation to have committed offenses prosecutable in the national interest. I will treat crime as crime and nothing else. I thank you, Mr. President and the Honorable Attorney General, sincerely for the trust you both have put in me and in my capabilities. Above all, I wish to thank and assure Ghanaians that I will do my best to vindicate the trust that the whole nation put in me at my nomination and nomination approval hearing. As an I wish the public to know that nobody has served me personally with any writ or statement of case or injunction challenging my nomination, approval, and appointment so as to restrain me from accepting this appointment. Before concluding, Mr. President, I wish to use your presence to acknowledge a senior citizen from Accra, without whom I might not have been available for this job. Professor J.N.D. Dodu was my former hall tutor at Commonwealth Hall and was formerly of the Department of Modern Languages, Legal. He ensured that I was not cheated out by the exclusion of my name from the LLB class list at the Faculty of Law after my first university exams when I had qualified for placement on the program by merit. His actions almost 43 years ago contributed in no small measure to my position, my passion for the defense of truth, fairness, integrity, transparency, and merit in public life and must be publicly acknowledged for once. The General Legal Council may have a lot to learn from him at this time of the problems at the Ghana School of Law. Thank you once more, Honorable Attorney General and Mr. President. I thank, thanks to all guardians who stand against corruption.